Well, a very good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so very much for tuning on to the Life Signatures Radio, whatever place it is you're tuned on to the show. It is a daily show that is focused on teaching, motivating, inspiring, and uh, instructing on the subjects of purpose, productivity, and resilience. Those three are critically important to our lives. If this podcast is making any sense to you, please make sure that you share it with as many people that you are in love with as possible. And uh, if uh, you really want to give back, uh, to give back, you can do it on the show notes. There's a link you can click there and then can follow the prompts. We are in the middle of a series. We are talking about strategic living we started talking about this a couple of um, days back maybe seven or so days back the purpose of strategic living we're talking about strategic living in general and right now what we're dealing with is uh, how is it exemplified how exactly is it exemplified we've already talked about the opposite of a strategic life which is uh, a short-termist kind of existence and so we're going to go deeper today stay tuned Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. So let's do this. Let's just do a recap of where we've come from so that we can understand where we are going. We're talking about living a strategic, a strategic life and uh, we've been going down the drain and talking, no, been going down and talking about exactly what it looks like. Number one, if you wanted to know that you're living a strategic life, it will be because you are living on purpose. You're actually living with purpose. That is number one. Then number two, you are setting and you are achieving long-term goals. That goes without saying. But then number three is something that I want to discuss today. And it's kind of like it's uh, attached to leaders. It is kind of like attached to leaders and, uh, you know, leaders in the corporate world, or leaders in, in the government places. I normally say you have no idea as a citizen how many attempts have been thwarted maybe terrorist attempts have been thwarted and the government doesn't even tell you have no idea how many criminals have been captured who had clandestine plans you know to create havoc to wreak havoc in a country or in a region and you have no idea so people in high level decision making uh, you know levels or situations are kind of like leaders but then where we go wrong, and this can be basically, it can be in the public sector, it can be also in the private sector, it can be in the government sector. But where we go wrong sometimes is where we think that leadership is only in those circles. And we fail to understand something that I've fondly called self-executive officer. That each and every one of us, every single one of us, is our own leader. And part of leadership is decision making. So number three, if you wanted to know that you're living a a strategic life, number three, you have intentional decision making. You are very intentional in making decisions. And this as often as possible. Two types of decisions you're making. One, you're making intentional decisions on a daily basis so that you can focus on non-negotiables. But two, you're making ad hoc decisions as and when 
situations arise and matters arise concerning your life and concerning the strategic tra- trajectory that you have taken. And you've grown so used to making these decisions that you're not necessarily having, you know, second thoughts and uh, massaging feelings and all that stuff before you make a decision. You're not delaying in making decisions. You are quick to make a decision. I think one of one of the leaders that I, I follow, I can't remember who exactly said, we will, we will, it's better we decide and then we move on than wait here and get stuck with no feedback on the decisions that we are making. You decide and you move on and you get feedback. One of the key features of living a, a strategic life is making intentional, well thought out decisions. It is a high level of living, decision making. Tony Robbins has told us that it is in the moment of decision making that our destinies themselves are shaped. And he said that he never wants to leave the moment or the situation or the environment of deciding before he takes an, a step that immediately cements that particular decision that he's just made. Rather than making choices based on short-term needs or external pressures that are always there, they are always going to be there, or distractions, or based on our greed, or maybe even based on our fear, strategic individuals evaluate how each decision aligns with their long-term vision. So you see the trajectory, how it is. First of all, we said you have purpose. Secondly, you're setting goals that are connected to that particular purpose. But thirdly, you're making decisions that are forcing you to continue aligning to that particular purpose or that particular long-term vision. This approach allows us to minimize the impulsive actions which is available to us daily. Whenever we wake up, there is always a need for an impulse decision. How do we make impulse decisions? Because we want to please our flesh. We want to please ourselves. We want to be comfortable. We want to be cozy. Impulse buying, you know what I'm talking about? You walk around with money. You never planned to buy that thing. You, you, you come back home with a PlayStation. It was never in your budget. Never in your budget at all. And probably it was never in your budget because the budget is not even there. And the budget is not even there because probably you don't have a vision or purpose or goals. And therefore your life, the decisions that you are making are arbitrary and they are short-termist in nature. They are not long-term. They are not intentional. They are not strategic. Therefore decision-making is a critical component of us living a strategic life. And I can dare say here that we want to know we are making strategic decisions is when we are not necessarily feeding our comforts. We are not deciding because it's going to make us comfortable in the immediate term. I want to eat that steak now. Okay? Bring it now. You've just eaten pizza. You've just eaten, I don't know what, but you want steak. You're not thinking strategically as far as your health is concerned. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to be crazy here and I'm just saying that uh, by saying that you should cut everything down so that you're, you're making... I'm, I'm just saying that the decisions we are making moment by moment are aligning us or are aligned to the goals that we have and the purpose that we have. This approach allows us to minimize impulsive actions and reduce on the likelihood of regret or even missed opportunities later on in the future. We can make these decisions in very many areas of our lives. Financially, for example. Saving for retirement. Now, when I talk about retirement and I'm, I'm 17, someone might think, what, what's, what's with this guy? And sometimes, that's, that's what I said some, some, some time back in the episode. We think we are young at 17 and we, we go around laughing at old people who are 40 and they can't bend. And we're laughing at them that look at that old man. You wake up one day and you're being called old, by the way. Or mze. Niaje mze. As in, that's, that's Kenyan slang. Ha, what's up? What's up, old man? <laughs> Just the other day, you were thinking you're 17. And at 17, you're not making these strategic decisions. 
about your finances, about investing in retirement, about investing in education, or about buying a home, or uh, you know, you, you don't you don't have a future in mind. You just had the satisfaction. Decisions are being made to satisfy immediate, immediate desires. That's the word, desires. We have desires galore every time we wake up. We have desires galore. But what decisions are we making? Let me ask you this question. What decision, what strategic decision have you made this year? Think about it critically. What strategic decision have you made this quarter? What strategic decision have you made this month? What strategic decision have you made this week? It could be on anything. It could be on your marriage. It could be on your finances. It could be on your profession. It could be on your products and your services or your services. It could be on your customers. It could be on your purpose itself. What strategic decision have you made? Making decisions, these intentional decisions, feeds into living a strategic life. And that is what we're supposed to be, to be doing with our lives. So if we are thinking strategically, we can make smarter decisions about how to allocate our resources, how to allocate our energy, how to allocate our time. We realize that we don't have time. I have found out that the guys who are busy doing stuff are the guys who are saying, I needed 48 hours a day. These are strategic people. But you see, if you do not have decisions that you're making intentionally, you know what's going to happen? You're going to feel like you have 200 years to live, which you don't. So let us be intentional in making these strategic decisions. Maybe it could be daily. Maybe it could be, maybe strategic decisions are not made that, that often. But you can't stay long without making a, a strategic decision. It's got to be, you know, you're making the decisions maybe weekly or maybe monthly. And you're reviewing those decisions by, by just this maniacal application of yourself to force yourself to review these decisions. Tomorrow we're going to continue talking about these things. These things are logical. They are following one after another. How do we live a strategic life? We've done three. Number one, have a purpose. Number two, set some goals. Number three, make intentional decisions. Tomorrow we're going to continue talking about that. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.